In this video, we're going to show you some of the powerful graphing and charting capabilities of Altova Mobile together. We will do this based on the tip calculator database example from the previous videos. So we have a database connection here on the right hand side uh, to some rows that store restaurant visits. And as you will recall, if we run in the simulator, we already have in the database a couple of sample data points pre-populated. So what I want to do um, is I want to create a new sub page here on the right hand side because I don't want to put the charts on the main page of my mobile application. I'm going to simply have a second page where we can then look at all the uh, charts and on that second page we want to connect to the exact same data source as on the first page so we will simply reuse that data source on our second page. Um, from the first page to the second page people will need to click on a button so we'll put that button right next to the save button here and we'll call it um, charts and that button will in turn um, have a uh, control action um, that will simply be go to sub page and we'll set it to go to the chart page. Very good. Now let's start saving that example as our fourth iteration of the tip calculator. And we can now uh, put in a chart. Um, maybe the chart page needs a label on the top um, that we're going to call um, restaurant visits. And then we can start building our chart. So we'll take a chart object here from the controls on the left hand side and drop it into our design here. And the chart object uh, will be connected with our individual uh, data set here. Um, so we're going to connect that to the row set. And when I double click on the chart, we can now start configuring this particular chart. Um, we can change the chart type. We can pick from a pie chart or a bar chart, line chart, area chart, all sorts of chart types. We'll just do a plain bar chart in this particular case. And we're going to give it a title uh, here called expense history. And for a chart, you have to define um, over which element you want to iterate um, in your particular data set. So we will define that X pass expression based on the context of the row set that we already pre-selected when we connect to that chart. So we will simply iterate over each row. So it's a very short X pass expression. And for each row, we want to have the category axis being defined as our um, dining dates. So that's the attribute dining date. And for the actual data points, we will add uh, one series here. You can add multiple series if you want to for more complex charts. But in our case, all we want to plot is the total amount for that particular day. And we will simply call that series the total. And that's all the configurations we need to build a bar chart in uh, Altova Mobile together. Uh, we can save this example and then we can run our simulator. And if we now click on the chart button, here is our expense history uh, where we can show the totals for our restaurant visits. But since we also have all of the tip data, why don't we extend that chart here with a second series where we actually show the tip amounts uh, by comparison. And we can call that second data set tip and run the simulator again after we save our example. And once we click on charts, now we see for each restaurant visit the total and the tip for our last restaurant visits. And there you have it, a simple uh, charting application built with Altova Mobile together using database data. Thank you.